This is D Brown, the begotten son, and today we're going to dive within the sound waves of 50. Yes, we did it. We made it. Milestone made. So with that said, I'm going to pull my Pino and let the music play. We start off with Watch how quickly I drop 50 It's song This is written in stone You were building on land Meaning that you ain't nothing but a fair weather man That right there I'm just setting the foundation No pun intended But setting the foundation of What I'm building is written in stone Kind of like the tablets You know when Moses brought them down It's written in stone It's concrete But then what you're building is just You're building on land Which is basically you know, you got to deal with the different weathers that's going on, and for the most part, when you when you're building on land, that kind of that kind of dictates on what you can do and how much you can work during that day. So if it rains, then you gotta and, and it gets muddy, you gotta pack up and wait for everything to slow down with the rain and have a better day. That's why I say you have you're a fair weather man. And then we move right on from there to get your facts wrong like a weather man. Can't trust your word. Fort tongue is absurd. We already know how it is when we when we watching the news and we like okay this weatherman is telling me it's going to rain tomorrow and then tomorrow come and you have your umbrella ready and you got your nice water boots on and you go outside preparing to weather the storm and it's sunny as hell outside so you know it's like you can't really trust trust the weatherman word because a lot of the times they're wrong don't refer to the ref just refer to the game this is where I talk about don't refer to the ref, just refer to the game. As in, when you see a lot of the basketball players, you know, when, they, when they're playing the game and they get fouled or something, something bad happens within the game, they're always looking at, looking at the ref like, you ain't see that? You ain't see that? You know? So it's like, instead of always, instead of going that route, how most, most basketball players do when it's like, all right, they get fouled, they, they whine into the ref or whatever, or they flopping or whatever, Instead of referring to the ref, just refer back to the game. You already know what you did to do. You already know what you're supposed to do. So if you take a loss, you take a loss, whatever. If something's not fair, it's not fair, whatever. But you just get right back into the game and do what you're supposed to do. And I stay at my best, no one touching my lane. Like a presidential parade, I got my motor cage. Take it back to ball one, I'm all weather protected. Staying in my lane like a presidential parade. Now that one right there, that one... Seeing that I'm in my own lane instead of trying to be in somebody else's lane or the lane that or, or whatever path that's in front of me, seeing that I'm in my own lane, now it's like I have all my space. That's why I say like a presidential parade. Like a president, you know, when they on the street, that's their own lane. Nobody is allowed to be in that lane. So with this, it's like, no, when I'm being as creative as I want, I'm being in my own lane. So with that, it's like, that's why I say I got my motor cage, because it's like, this is my own lane, and it's blocked off to everything else, and yes, I know it's motor cage, but I like the cage with this one anyway, okay? So don't act reckless, for you end up on my reckless, got it all mapped out like I'm playing Tetris. I think that one's pretty straightforward, um, don't act reckless, for you end up on my reckless, I mean... I don't really have to break that down. That's a list that you just don't want to be on. And then I got it all mapped out like I'm playing playing Tetris. That's more like, you know, when a serious player of Tetris know that you just don't just throw the blocks down or whatever and just let it fall where it fall. You actually got to map stuff out. You actually got to look ahead and see what you're going to do when when you're playing the game. So it's like, it's more mental in that, in that status right there. Instead of just playing the game, you're being in a more mental space and getting everything ready. I can do a three-hour show if I repeat in the song, you can go and check my set list. I think that one's pretty straightforward if you've been following what I've been doing. Um, basically, at this point, I can do a three hour. Um, um, dang it, what, what did I say? Show. Show, thank you. Basically, if you've been following along with what I've been doing, I can do a three hour show without repeating a song because right now, with, like I said, celebration of this, we at song number 50. And if you're following hashtag Begotten Sunday, um, the playlist that's on all music streaming apps, you'll see that basically the runtime on there is about 2.50, whatever, to three hours. So 
with all these all this music that I've been putting out for this past year, we're al we're already at the three hour mark with this, with all the cre creating and the content and the songs that I've been putting out. So I mean, hey, I'm excited about that. I done cleared another hurdle on my own Let me find out I got these types of ups all along Sick with the melody but this is no sing along Yeah we talking about basketball in this But with this part I, I, I throw in throw in a little track and field I done cleared another hurdle on my own But then I bring it right back to the whole thought of the basketball theme Where it's like um, I ain't know I, Let me find out I had this type of ups all along Where it's like you know I'm a short man you know um, But as far as I just jump with this or a milestone like this hitting this type of milestone it's like you wouldn't think especially when you're on song number one that you just go 50 weeks in a row knocking things out and now you get to 50, the 50th week and you like dang I didn't really just created all this music I didn't really just created all these lyrics and all that every week week after week after week after week after week like god damn <laughs> and it's like damn I didn't think I could do this so I'm proving myself um, wrong at, at, at the same time. I'm proving to myself that I got more in me than I thought I, I could do from when I first started for, for week one. Long and I ain't waiting for Funk Flex to go and drop a bomb on it, look. And, and yeah, basically with that one, it's no sing-along. Really with this one, with this song, I really just wanted to go in and just rap, you know, and, and it really wasn't no, oh, sing with me with this. Um, of course, I got some nice, nice, nice flows that I have with it that you start feeling within the song but then also when I say not waiting for funk, funk flex to drop a bomb on it that's really like you know I'm not waiting for any type of stamp of approval to, to say that I'm good at this I'm not waiting for a stamp of approval to say oh yeah he's the man with this like I already feel that in myself when I'm doing this and, and that's the thing about when you're creating or when you're building whatever you're building you got to believe in yourself with this so that's why I'm just saying with that it's like I'm not looking for outside approval I'm already there in my own mind and I'm just waiting for that to just flourish out and whenever you catch up that's when you catch up now watch how quickly I drive 50 now watch how quickly I drive 50 Pass the rock, I'ma shoot my shot Just stand back and watch how the buckets drop As I run it so low like a game of 50 Ain't no way you can stick me on the road to 50 So I got a little, I got a little um, hook in there that, that, I, that I bring in Watch out quickly, I drop 50 Just setting up for the next part of the, part of the, the verse Where I'm actually speaking on the whole metaphor When it comes to the basketball game Especially the, the basketball game that, that we, we know I'm, that, that I grew up on when you don't either even if you don't have like a full set of a team to play against or if you're just trying to play something different when it came to playing a game of 50 where you actually had to hit you know every shot that you made it was five points and all that so that's why I'm saying watch out quickly quickly I drop 50 of course to go along with the 50th song but then also to tie it in with the, the basketball game 50 so that's when we bring it in and that's why I say you know pass the rock I'm gonna shoot my shot so instead of just sitting on the sidelines or just waiting, waiting and seeing what everybody else is doing, I'm actually going to shoot my shot when it comes to what I'm doing when it comes to my creativity instead of just sitting back because in a game of 50, you know, it's only one man. You your one man team, really. You have no teammates. You have to do something. If you don't do anything, you can't win the game. If it's just you then you have to actually play the game to actually win. You can't just sit back and hope somebody pass the ball or you pass the ball off to somebody else. It's all on you. So that's why, you know, I say pass the rock, I'ma shoot my shot. Dropping five, five, five like a Hollywood number. Like back in the day, Shaq back in his hay. But you only five, five, how dare you say? I, I, brought, I brought that line in, dropping five, 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 dropping the buckets, five, five, five. But then, like a Hollywood number, where when when we when we used to watch TV, when the, the old movies, the older movies, 90s, early 2000s, whatever, um, every time somebody would give out their number, they would always start off with, oh, it's 555, you know, 1374, you know, something like that. But it, every movie that I watched back in that er era, it was always the Hollywood movies, it was always five 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 this and that five 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 this and that like they never had a regular type of number so that's what that that actually alluded to then i also string that in with like Shaq back in his head you know when, when Shaq was in the hole you know it's almost 
unstoppable, you know. So with that one, it's like that's how hard I'm gonna go at it. But then when somebody else look at me and they say, "Okay, but you only five five. How dare you even talk like you know you're on the level of Shaq?" Cause I don't dwell on top five. I just fire away. Right, okay, I'm saying what I'm saying because I'm not dwelling on okay who who what does the public say is the top five? Once again, not looking for vindication of what I'm doing it's like no I'm not worrying about top five I'm bringing what I'm bringing and that's all I'm aiming at just bringing the heat that I'm bringing five fingers on the heat the other five on the mic five points on my body makes me a law the same five points turning me into a star now add up all those numbers see how quickly I drop 50 so seeing that I'm bringing that heat that I'm bringing that's why I say five fingers on the heat the other five on the mic and of course the other five on the mic I think that part is pretty pretty straight forward that you know when I'm holding gripping the mic but then I say five points on my body makes me a law now this one is a nice little little nod to um, different Muslims um, with, with it, or, or a lot of deep deep thinkers that I know that that point out you know the five points on my body makes me a law now break this up break this down where it's like you know you got an arm leg leg arm head and the, the way they strung that together was arm, leg, leg, arm, head. Take the first letters of each of each word, A L L A H, Allah. So that's that right there, just saying, okay, this is God's body right here. You know, so five points on my body makes me Allah, and those same five, same five points make me into a star, which basically a nice nod to, of course, the star is five points, and if you stretch out. You know, with your arms and legs stressed out, it's like a star as they would draw, you know, a star. So, just to tie all that in, that's how we bring everything in with that little weave of within that one little line right there in, in that verse. And then, of course, if you add up all those numbers, I said five at least ten times within that string of, of rhyme right there. And, of course, that would add up to 50. So, that's another... Another buzzword, if you want to say, or another ding right there, where, okay, there go another 50. You know, I, I put in all these lyrics right here saying 555, five, five, boom, 555, five, five, boom, 555, five, and then we get all the way up to 50 within that one, within those lines, within those bars right there. He like Kanan hanging out the drop with the Desert Eagle, let it pop with the 50 caliber, making niggas stop in they tracks, they don't want it with the boy. And that one right there, everybody who's watching Power. I'm sure you already know what that line was referring to, you know, when Kanan had hopping off the drop, when they was trying to grab my man Andre out the warehouse, you know, um, and it was a setup, but then when they was retreating, that's when 50 Cent comes into the picture and he hops off the drop and starts blasting off and a lot a lot of symbolism one within that within that scene and I just bring that symbolism right over within this within this verse where it's like 50 Cent, who is Kanan, is hopping out the drop, shooting a Desert Eagle, which is a 50 caliber and all that. So it's like 50 Cent is holding a 50 caliber. So I'm pretty sure that even within that, 50 was like, I need to hold the Desert Eagle just because it's a 50 caliber. So yeah, that. so once again, buzzword, ding, got a number 50 right there, or two 50s right there. You got 50 Cent and a 50 caliber Desert Eagle. I'm um, making niggas stop right there, right there in that track. Boom. If you understand the numbers that I'm putting on the board, I know how to drop the chords. I know how to drop the chords. I know how to make the ass drop like I had them flop off the surfboard. Once again, seeing that I'm dropping 50 songs in a row, week after week, it's like that 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 has to have some type of talent in there that has to have some type of drive in there so if you know what type of numbers i'm putting on the board that's not something that you just easily just want to play around with and then also um i know how to drop the chords and i know how to drop the chorus one chorus of course when i'm on the keyboard and then chorus once again when i'm on the mic i even know how to just make something sound fun or just drop a nice chorus and this ain't, ain't something that i'm just saying off the top of my head this is something that i've been hearing over and over where it's one i would like a song and it's like okay cool this song is doing good I'm, i got some good lyrics in it but then i will always get hear people say but that chorus it's just that hook yeah, I just love your hooks and all that and this and that. So that's where that comes from. And then I know how to make the ass drop like um, flopped off a surfboard. Which basically, like like they say, uh, uh, when, when you're in the club, you know, make an ass drop and all that. It's like, I know how to make you dance to what I'm doing with this too. So it's a lot of things within this. I already know how to do to, to bring it all in one piece. 
it's all right there in one body that I'm bringing all this with it. Leave what they saying that his brains did it. See what your mouth do like his fangs in it. That one I think you can go ahead and, and, and use your imagination with um, Leaving Wet and said that his brains did it. And then the second one, you know, um, this one I had a little fun with um, with my wife with because I was saying, what do you see um, when when I say, see what that mouth do, like his fangs in it, and she like, something hurt, you know, like sucking blood or something. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, cool. So I'm sure that'd be a nice, nice debate out there with it but for me the way i was seeing it is you know when it comes to a vampire when they, when they got when they pull out the things and they suck on you they basically sucking the life out you so heavy ammo know what type of grains in it that's over your head like it's planes in it that kerosene flow got flames in it know what type of, do you know what type of grains in it that's over your head um of course like planes i think that one that part right there is straightforward that you understand and of course kerosene flow got flames in it once again that should be that should be understood off top but the heavy with um heavy ammo know what type of grains in it that one right there the bullets that you're using the ammo that you're using there's different type of grains in it so now you're like okay this one is a heavier grain that means this one is going to have a more of an explosion which means the bullet's going to travel faster it's going to have more velocity behind it and it's going to do more damage i'm on fire when i hit the icebreaker told you that i'm live with it watch how quickly i drop 50. so then i ended off with the lines um Anybody, once again, if you're playing 50, you already know, right when you get to 50, now you, you have to hit the icebreaker shot. Like, you can't win the game until you hit that icebreaker and then, and then you're finally able to win the game. So right there, I told you I'm on fire. Just a, just a nice little, nice rhyme right there where it's saying breaking the ice or melting the ice. And when I hit the icebreaker, I'm on fire. Then I said, I told you that I'm live with it. That one is an open inter interpretation of that song. We all the way live with it when it came out with uh, uh, my man Michael Jordan with Space Jam and all that. So that's, once again, basketball theme just, just tied into all of it. And that's basically how I end, up, end off the song, just showing how I hit the icebreaker and winning this because I just finished with that 50. And now we just crossed the, the ticket tape with that, the ticket tape. And boom, we did it. 50, that's the breakdown of it. A lot of stuff in there, a lot a lot of meat within those lines and it's just nothing but spitting. Um, just having some fun over it, straightforward. Oh, and a nice tip, I mean, nice, nice tip, and a nice nugget with this one also to tie in once again 50 is that the whole song is only 50 measures or 50 bars. The whole song from beginning to end is only 50 bars. So all the way around with this whole esoteric um, thinking with this song 50. Yeah, you got the 50 weeks in a row, the 50 song, only 50 bars with it, playing a game of 50. My man 50 Cent pops up in there somewhere, shooting off the, the, the 50 caliber Desert Eagle. I mean, goddamn, I mean, we got 50s all over the place with this, so. I really had fun with making 50, so check that out on Spotify, Apple Music, wherever you stream your music. Whatever you do, go ahead and just search the playlist and you can stay up to current on everything from, from this 50 song. And we're going to keep on rocking for the playlist. Hashtag The Got Sunday. And you can find all the music right there in one package playlist and you can follow along for when the new song starts to come out because I'm not stopping at 50. We're going to keep on pushing. We're going to keep on going. And with that, D. Brown and Begotten Son, out. Watch how quickly I drop 50. Understand? Watch how quickly I drop 50. Watch how quickly I drop 50. It's song. This is written in stone. You were building on land. Meaning that you